Welcome to this 10 minute Pilates abs and legs class where you're really going to focus on getting your abs stronger by working your upper ab curl and getting in a little bit of leg strength by using a looped resistance band. Now, if you don't have a looped resistance band, no worries. The exercises will still be effective. So still move with this class. It's really all about the intention behind it, which is all abs and legs. Hi, my name is Beth and welcome to Trifecta Pilates. This is a place where we come together on the Pilates mat for an effective workout so you can step off your mat and enjoy your day. If you're ready to get the abs and legs stronger in this short Pilates class, join me on the mat. Let's go ahead and begin putting the resistance band over the legs or around them. So work it above your knees here and then lay down onto your back, pressing firmly into the feet. Hands reach towards the knees and exhale, curl up and down. So it's a mini ab curl and down. Low spine will stay on the mat. So we're not rolling all the way up even if you can. We are getting right in to strengthening the abs. Two more times. Now stay curled up and hold, keep breathing, and do little pulses up. Pulse, two, three, four, five, just five, four, three, two, one, lower down, giving the abs a little break. They'll work to stabilize. Bring legs up to tabletop. One leg taps down and up. Same leg down and up. Breathing. Just allowing shoulders, head to stay nice and heavy on to the floor here. Two more times with this leg. And switch sides, opposite leg, down, up. Deep breathing to get you through shoulders released. So abs are working a little bit right now. We're gonna trim up the dial again and have them work a little bit more after this leg movement. One last time. Both feet go back down. Reach your arms forward once again. Curl up, pause, grab behind the thighs. Curl up, use your arms a little bit more. Reach your arms forward, lower down. So we're slowing this one down. Curl up, hands. Curl into yourself more. Reach the arms forward, lower down. So taking all momentum out of it, using a little assistance, then no hands, lower down. And I want you to feel that you really are fighting for a little bit, that curl. It's so working right at your edge. Feet staying down. Two more times, curl up, grab behind, curl a little bit higher, reach arms forward and down. Just one more time. Lowering down arms by your side. Once again, legs lift to tabletop, flex the feet. This time, one leg in towards you, opposite leg pushes to straight and in, same leg, in opposite leg straight. So pull and press, pull and press. Breathing out and in. So again, this movement, a little bit for the legs, abs working just to support slightly. Two. One, switch sides, opposite leg pulls into straight. Keep breathing. And you can do this entire sequence with no band. Keep breathing, keep moving, trying to pull that bent thigh in towards you a little bit more. Two, and one, very nice. Lay onto your side now. We'll give the abs a little bit longer of a break this time. Feet stay together, exhale, open top thigh and down. Open top thigh. Breathing out 
and in. And most likely, you're going to pause at that most challenging range of motion. Rather than pausing, can you push that leg open a little bit more? Get more work and those deep rotators open. We'll do two more times. Two and one. Keep the thigh open, a little pulse, pulse, pulse. A little pressing motion with the thigh. Very nice, lower thigh down, and roll right onto your second side. I'm going to roll away from you for this exercise. I still got you though. Open thigh and down. Breathe out and in. <sighs> Trying to keep pelvis as still as possible. And again, the resistance band makes it a little bit more challenging if you have one. Try to press that leg up just a little bit higher towards the ceiling every time you open the thigh. We're almost there and then we're gonna go back to the abs. Two more times. Keep that thigh lifted, little press, press, press. Pelvis stays still as the thigh Presses to open. Lower down. Rolling onto your back. Once again, feet staying down. Reach arms forward. Again, curl into yourself and down. We're going to do three more like this. No pause. And now, curl up, hands behind, curl into yourself a little bit more. Arms reach forward, lower down. Here we go, curl up. Arms, use for assistance, curl into yourself. Reach forward, lower down. So using those arms maybe to curl up a little bit more, that will help with so many of the Pilates ab exercises getting your abs stronger in this isolated way. Last time, very nice. Come now onto your hands and knees on the mat. We'll come on to your forearms today. One thigh stays where it is, opposite thigh lift and down. Lift and down, breathing out and in. So nothing moving besides breath and leg, trying to keep the spine really still. Two more times, switch sides, opposite leg, up and down. And again, most likely you'll pause can you lift that leg up maybe a little higher every time, getting a little bit more work from the back of the thigh as you lift the leg. Almost there. One last time. Very nice. Now walk your legs back, tuck the toes, go into a plank forearm. Keep breathing in and out. This is the last movement we're going to do. Last exercise, deep breathing here. So you continue breathing, strong legs. Ensuring that you're looking between the arms rather than back towards the toes. We're almost there, almost done with this sequence. Let's take a few more deep breaths. Breathing in as deeply as you can. Breathing out as fully as you can. Two more deep breaths like that. One last breath. And then take those knees down, 
Very nice. You can come up to a kneeling position. If you enjoyed that class, I think you're really going to like the five day Pilates challenge with a workout plan to increase strength and flexibility. Five Pilates workouts sent straight to your inbox and you won't find these classes on YouTube. This is a members only program that I know you're going to love. Click on the link in the first comment of this video to get started today. After you do that, if you enjoyed this class, give this video a like or leave a comment down below with your favorite part of the session. I hope that you have a beautiful day and I can't wait for you to join me for the five day Pilates challenge.